Hi friends, welcome back. To make Lumis even more personal for you, today I will show you how you can configure the setting in details. And let's get started. From the Lumis dashboard, you click on settings, and we will have a six step in the setting. In today's videos, I will walk you through one by one. And to make things easy for you, I will add the timestamp on the video description. You can move to the part that you want to learn or skip the part that you learn already. Okay, the first step will be the general setting. As you can see over here, there will be an explanation under each setting subject. So starting with uploading your logo. Simply upload your logo files and the recommended head is 80 pixel. Replay this link to your website URL. So when your customer click on it, they will be directed to your website. To make your site more professional, you will need a fabricant which is a shortcut icon for your website. Look at this color board. This is where you decide the theme colors. It will apply both back end and front end of Lumis. Select the color that you like. And then finally, you have the option to set your term and conditions. This will show before your customer placing an order and they will have to agree to process their orders. Let's put something over here to check and then save the setting. Okay, let's go to the front end of Lumis to check it out. So this is the front end of Lumis. As you can see the logo has been changed, the fabrican has been changed as well, and then the color theme is changed. Whenever your customer check out like this, this is where you show your term and conditions, and they have to click on understand and agree in order to check out. If they not, they cannot proceed to check out their orders. Let's move on to the editor setting. Okay, with the color pickers, if you set at yes, your customer can freely pick and add a new colors to their color list. But if you set at no, your customer can only select from this color list. You can add or remove color to this list, as usual. Okay, let's move on to the editors. Here is the option you switch the reading mode from the right to left. And these three options allow you to decide if you want your user sharing, printing, and downloading their design. And this default setting only applies to your customer. You can put the check mark on any components that you want to appear in the editors. Select or deselect it. Let's move on the image setting. Over here you can set the picture parameter, determining the range of size, dimensions, and PPI, which is solutions for an uploading image and other simple settings for you as well low resolution notice, design on stage it depends on the product, for example the t-shirts have a two stage which is front and back and if you set this one at yes, they have to design two stage before they check out how to zoom to fit, so calculations, formula, animal back reporting all the settings will have a small description under it so if you don't understand just read it carefully and prefix name, change your prefix name, this one for download files name. You can also make change for these default options. Show headers or footer if you like, and you can set the width and head for your editor as well, and then save the setting. Okay now let's go to the front end to check. So because you don't allow your customer pick their own colors, so you only limit them in three colors. Remember, we only allow them to pick the color from the list. Remember the option that you make the default in editor setting? It's here. So we will go through one by one. If you switch auto snap mode as on, whenever you put anything over here, it will automatically alight for you. And if you switch template append as yes, normally whenever we put the template on product, there will be allowed only one for one design. But if you switch as yes, more than one template in the design. How about the last one? Replace image. Like its name, right? If switch as yes, it's replayed. If you switch it off, you can have two more than one pictures in one design. Okay, let's move on to the shop setting. This one is pretty similar to WooCommerce setting. Simply set your parameters currency simple, currency code separator, this decimal separator, number of decimals, 
and the important part is set the design editor as your editor page change your button text button listing button product page design detail and email you can switch depend on your choice and then save the setting in the google fonts setting allow you to manage and add more default fonts for your editors you can delete any fonts that you don't like or add new fonts scrolling down see which one you like simply just add it this one has been added to your workspace as a phone it's over here and then save the setting languages are where you can set the language for back end and front end of Lumis. you can add more language if you like recently i made a videos about complete language in Lumis. you can watch this for more information and finally is have contents this tab is where you put your fa query to guide your customer Tab 1 is about hotkeys and we have set it already. If not necessary, just leave it at default. And you can pull your content to tab 2, uh, 3, 4 and 5. If you don't want any tab, you want to delete it, just delete the titles and delete the content. It will disappear from the editor page. And then set the setting. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you like the videos. So if you have any questions, just leave on the comments. So I will try my best to answer it and if you require a support just contact our support team thanks for watching and see you guys in the next videos